What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel, CMask Tutorials is back. So today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of issue you're currently having with ping, uh, with uh, server issues, with connection issues in Euro Truck Simulator 2. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issues. And yeah, guys, before we start running to the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that it would really, really help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. It would just take you one second and cost you nothing. And for me, it would mean the world. If you just take your um, time and click on the subscription button, it will help me a lot to just push this project YouTube for me without uh, talking too much. Let's get started. So the first thing I would uh, recommend doing for everybody is going to be the simple things. So first of all, go to your router, uh, deactivate it, just shut it down and turn it on again after quite a while. Sometimes it's your router which isn't working and sometimes it could also be if you're using Ethernet, so the cable on your PC, uh, just check it if it's plugged in right. If the cable is um, perhaps broken, could also happen, happened to me once. So, and also the sometimes, don't ask me why, but if you switch sides, like plug in the um, thing you plugged in in your ethernet and switch it and plug it into your PC and the other one into the ethernet, sometimes it, it works. And some, it could also happen that your, um, your internet in general is really slow at the moment, so can happen. Um, yeah, but if you have checked that, Let's start writing the things you can do on your PC to increase uh, your performance of that. So the first thing I want you to do is gonna be to simply navigate to your taskbar. Either you have it on the top, right, left, bottom, for me it's bottom, so uh, right click onto that. What I want you to do here is really simple. Go to task manager, so pop up your task manager. And uh, next thing I want you to do is uh, gonna be to go to the top left corner of your screen where you're gonna see performance. And uh, now you can see a lot of things like uh, Ethernet, as I just told you, um, GPU, CPU, disk, but doesn't really care about anything besides going to open resource monitor. So bottom left corner of your screen, you're gonna click onto that and uh, open this one up. And now it seems a little bit tricky, but it isn't. So what is happening here, really simple. You need to wait a little bit, just take your time, 10, 20, 30 seconds, and we'll load in every single application, every single background process, which is currently using your network, as you can see. And um, now we wait a little bit, but as you can see, there is some programs which are running and also suspended. Uh, you need to go down and start ending every single task, which is currently using your Wi-Fi, your internet, your ethernet, whatever, um, too much or in general, not, not related to Windows or to your game. So you're gonna right click, and click to end process. And you're gonna do that to every single process which is currently running, so really simple. Um, once you're finished with that, I want you to basically, yeah, you can do that also really simple. On overview, overview you're having every single one which is currently running, you're gonna click onto network and yeah, you only have the ones which are currently running. Um, and this one, your, and your task manager again, uh, and your also the second tab. Next thing is what gonna be really simple. Go to the bottom left corner of your screen, click onto your Windows symbol, or click onto your Windows key on your keyboard. Really simple, click onto uh, settings. And as you can see, there's uh, one called network and internet. Click onto that one. So wait a little bit. And now there's a lot of things you can do, really a lot of. And um, the first things I want you to do is gonna be to click onto network troubleshooter. And now Windows is detecting if you have any problems you're currently having with uh, your PC in general related to a network. So uh, just try to use your Windows in order to um, find any problems could uh, happen and Windows will solve it. So I would basically go for all network adapters. It will just um, search for it. I won't do that. My, my Wi-Fi is working fine. So just if, you're, if yours isn't, just uh, check for that. Next thing is gonna be to click on to change adapter options. This will pop up, so this tab. What I want you to do here is also really simple. Uh, now it depends on which one you're currently using. I'm using Ethernet, so the cable. If you're using Wi-Fi, uh, whatever, um, there is stand uh, Wi-Fi. So you're gonna right click, click onto disable. This will it just, yeah, it will disable your um, Wi-Fi, your internet on your PC. This also just works if you have administrator remote on. So keep in mind that you need to turn on your administrator remote. Afterwards, I want you to click onto um, enable again. So take your while, take, 20 seconds, wait for it, click on enable. Now it's enabling, you need to wait um, till it's connected again. So if you can see, it's just, now, now it's connected again. 
Perfect. Um, once you're finished with that, you can basically close this one. And uh, now I want you to go to the second one where it says network and sharing center. So that one in the middle. So you're gonna click onto that. And now there's also some things you can do. Again, you can go to troubleshoot problems and uh, use your windows to find any problems, any problem uh, related to this one. And uh, next thing you can do is go to the blueprint of text. As you can see, I'm using ethernet. If you're using internet, internet will be blue, of course. So you click on that. And now this one will pop up. And um, next thing you can do is basically go to diagnose and we'll diagnose your Wi-Fi if there's something wrong with it. If it isn't, go to properties. Again, only uh, you can only do that if you have Administ Remote on. So keep in mind that you want to keep your Administ Remote on. And now you want to scroll down to Internet Protocol version 4. And um, now I want you to go to the, use the following IP address. And uh, on the IP address, I want you to uh, type in 8888, four times eight on the top here. And on the preferred DNS address, so use the following DNS address, you need to enable that, of course, to type it in. Uh, you need to Google it for yourself. So just uh, go to Google, D uh, Google your DNS server address and uh, you're gonna type in your DNS server address and afterwards click on the apply and okay. So now you can uh, close everything of that, go back to your, um, yeah, to your uh, net, to your network settings. Uh, what I want you to do here is really simple. You can also click onto network reset. So what you want you to do here is really simple. You're gonna, yeah, just reset your network and this will help you a lot of every kind of issue you could currently have. Uh, also go to updating network adapter or driver. Here you're gonna click onto that. And also uh, you can find your IP address. It will uh, lead you to your window thing you can uh, find. Uh, afterwards, just go to show available networks. This also be a really could be a really simple thing to do, but it will help. Uh, you're gonna go to that and just try to find out if you have an airplane mode. Sometimes uh, you're not connected in general. So uh, just connect again, um, disconnect. And this could also help you a lot with every kind of issue you're currently having with uh, your Wi-Fi in general. Sometimes it could also be a problem related to your PC in general, uh, related to Windows. So you can go to your settings again, uh, go to your um, update and security. What I want you to do here is also really simple. Uh, you're gonna restart your PC sometimes and update your version, your Windows version, your, uh, your driver, because sometimes it's related to your Windows. And just to check if this is not the case, try to restart, try to basically update your driver on Windows to the latest version and this will help you a ton. So uh, yeah guys, especially just once you're finished with that, restart your PC, go back, start your game again and this should uh, help a lot. And yeah guys, I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Just take your time, click on the subscribe button. If you have any kind of question, feel free to type in a comment, to write a comment uh, about anything. I will try my best to answer it, to help you out after the video. So if you want me to do anything else, any problem you're currently having, I should do a video on, just let me know that. And yeah, guys, in general, have a wonderful day. Thank you a lot to watching this till point and uh, see you at the next one.